Tanya here. Today we have the Young Scientist Club Extreme Fossil Dig. Thank you Horizon Group for sponsoring us and giving us this fabulous STEM learning kit to review. Before we start, let's take a look at the box. It is eight and up. So I do not know if this is gonna be like appropriate for a six year old like me, but we are gonna do it and find out. One more thing I'd like to point out is the creator of this Extreme Fossil Dig Kit. Her name is Esther Novus. She is not only a mother of five, but she is actually a Harvard graduate and a scientist herself. She's a biologist. She set out to create STEM activities for kids of basically all ages. So this should be really educational and I think enjoyable and realistic as well. Oh, and as you can see, there's fossils right here. Come on, let's open the box. Inside it will say, Another the Extreme Fossil Kit comes with a mallet, a chisel, a brush, a magnifying glass, a fossil dig with 18 fossils inside, 15 collector cards and baggies, and an activity guide. It includes directions, important fossil facts, and four bonus games. When you're done with your dig, you will have 18 fossils. There's 15, but three of them are duplicates. You'll have your little bags to put them in and fact cards as well. These are tools that real paleontologists would use. And we're gonna use this just like real paleontologists to find the fossils. As we took the dig out of the plastic, we noticed some little pieces started to come off and that it's probably pretty messy so we added a plate we're gonna find fossils are you excited dust is starting to move and we're starting to get little holes in here listen there's <gasps> something here there's something there i found something let's get the brush i'll scrape it because i don't think that'll hurt the fossil rania you are a real paleontologist now yeah, i know there's something around here we can feel it right it's going to take forever to get out Oh, yeah, it takes a while. Maybe I could scrape it out like this. It'd be really amazing to have a first fossil. Wow, that just came off. We just got a chunk off with the mallet. Great job. We'll save that chunk because there could be a fossil in there. To get to this point has already taken us about 45 minutes. Look at all this powder. I want to look at the fossil. Oh, that's a great idea. Does that help? Mm -hmm. This is very fun. Like, I'm so interested in this. Do you think you'll want to be a paleontologist when you grow Maybe. up? Maybe. Well, we'll both hurt at work. Oh! <gasps> yeah. Got up this fossil! <laughs> Yay! Oh. You might keep in mind that this might not be a game or a toy that you play with just in one day. This could be a whole week's experience or several days or however you want to do it. Or just a whole day activity too. Honey, yeah? I can't believe we got our first fossil. I know, that's exciting. Hey, both and fossil both start with an F. They do both start with an F. Great observation. Mm -hmm. I always wondered, like, are fossils like just animal bones from a long time ago, or are they, are they animal bones from now, both? Or are they like just could be animal teeth? and bones, I'm not sure. Do you know that the most common fossils are bones and teeth? But some paleontologists have found imprints of skin and footprints as well. Is that a fossil? Mm -hmm. I think it is. We got a second fossil. Oh wow. Third fossil. We got our third fossil. Oh my God, we got two fossils and a fourth fossil. Tip tick a hurt. Ooh. I wonder what that is. We'll find out soon. Or maybe it's a love creature like a bunny or a cat. Do you feel like you're learning? Yes. The directions did say to be careful and that some fossils are fragile and, you know, proof of that right here, we broke a fossil. I'm sorry you broke it. That's okay. I would highly recommend if you have a yard or a patio that you do this on your yard or patio so that you don't get the, the fossil dust, the dig dust everywhere. Everywhere in your house, like you don't <laughs> It's want everywhere, that. it's getting everywhere. Even though I got a plate. It's everywhere. It did say to get a tray, but I thought a plate would be enough. And it's not. So I have found this fossil, I accidentally broke it. I wasn't even cleaning it. I was just holding it, but I accidentally broke it. Yeah, it's, it's actually very pointy. 
and very little and very delicate. Mm -hmm. We broke it too, we cannot break anymore. But that's what happens to real paleontologists when they're out excavating. Sometimes they accidentally break a fossil. They don't want to, but that has happened. It's getting late and it's bedtime. We'll come back to this tomorrow to do more excavating. We are on our second day of excavating, aren't we? <laughs> There's 18 in total and we found 13. How many do we have left to find? Five more. We have five more fossils to find. These are excavating clothes, so we wanted to wear them again. We did change our hairstyles though. Yeah, as you can see I have pigtails with lots of clips on them. And she has her hair wrapped around here and in a braid. Yeah, I did a braid again, but this time I wrapped my hair around it. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, let's go, let's excavate. We're gonna do some digging. We'll show you when we get all the fossils. I don't know if you remember, but this was our first fossil. You have a good memory. And now we think we found a repeat of that one. Uh, no, it was a repeat of this one. Oh. You're right. <laughs> She's much smarter than me, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Yes. Let me get close to fossils so we so you won't break one again. Did you notice that? She said, so I won't break one again. We have got another fossil. This is our new fossil and we have a double. It's like an animal's face, doesn't it? Oh yeah, turtle. Like it has a see to like that's the head and that's the back of it and these are like the arms. There's a fossil on the head. Mm -hmm. And the see if the turtle's head just came off. No, oh, see to <laughs> you lost your head. That was the little face. His little body broke off. How dirty our hands got. I mean, it's not dirt, it's clay. We are on day three of excavating. There is one more fossil to find. This last one's been really tricky to find, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. There is something in here. It is truly so yes. rewarding to find this last fossil. We have yeah, looked so it hard. Really is. I was just like gonna give up. We were truly about to give up. This is no joke. I was starting to think that our kit had 17 fossils instead of 18 fossils because it took us a lot of hours to find this last fossil. This has been our fourth day of excavating. Actually, we're done excavating. We found all our fossils. Yeah, we painted our nails. Mm -hmm. To make it easier exactly. to find the fossils. You are the 18 fossils. They still have a lot of crayons. So we're going to rinse them off. You could see that from bubbling. Mm -hmm. I wonder why they bubble. If you do know why, you can always leave that in the comments below and let us know. The directions, by the way, did not say to use a toothbrush to do it. It's just we had already rinsed these a couple of times and we couldn't get all the clay off. So it was an idea that we had. Ew. Looks like we had dirty teeth, but we didn't. <laughs> That's from the clay. <laughs> We're not gonna go back and brush our teeth with this, by the way. No. It was really rewarding and fun finding our first fossil and our last fossil, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Because that last one, we didn't know if we were gonna find it, right? Yeah. But we did. And it just felt like, wow, what a relief we found that last fossil. All I could say is that they hide these fossils well. That's the thing, when you're a paleontologist, you definitely need to have patience because this is not a job where things move fast, is it? Mm -hmm. Not like running. No, it's not like running. Or an extra good puzzler. One place we like to go a lot is the La Brea Tar Pits and you can actually meet and talk to the paleontologists there who do the excavating and find fossils and clean them off and it's actually really, really super interesting. As we saw in the La Brea Tar Pits, there were a bunch of wolf heads, but instead of heads, they were fossils. Right. So like, imagine heads, a bunch of wolf heads, but they were fossils, that's what it was like. Yeah, but I don't think any of these fossils we got are gonna be wolf heads. No. <laughs> <laughs> finding these fossils is like finding treasures, finding gems. It's like opening your eyes to what was around in history before we were around. We have found and cleaned all 18 of our fossils. Now we are going to identify which cards they go to, then we'll put them in their plastic bags that they came with. Our magnifying glass can help us look more closely at the fossils to help us identify them. We can definitely figure out this one. Yay! 
That's one of the ones with the duplicate. I think I know what part that it belongs to. I think you found the coral. This one, it actually turned out to be animal poop. That's right. I spent so much time cleaning, I'm a little disgusted. A trace fossil is something that an animal might leave behind. This is a trace fossil, and this is actually animal dung. I like this crow shark tooth. It's a heart shape. Yeah, that's why I like it, because it's a heart shape. Tooth. Oh my god, I did not even know where that was a tooth. The orthoceros. This is also one of my favorites. It's so smooth. Look at all those details in it. This is my third favorite. It's the ammonite. Well, that was pretty fun. What did you think of the fossil dig? I have to give this fossil dig a lot of credit because they really hid the fossils well. It's not like they were all stacked on the top and they were easy to find. I mean, this is an activity that requires patience and persistence. And if you have a child who really wants to be a scientist, specifically a paleontologist, this is an excellent activity for them. If you would like to purchase this activity set, you can just check in the description box below. I will have my affiliate link. And we are are looking forward to your comments and we're looking forward to seeing you again next time. Thanks for watching. We'll Please see you subscribe. next time. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. I still can't believe there was a poop fossil. <laughs> well, it still is a fossil. It still is a fossil. And actually, do you remember at the La Brea Tarpets, there were actually poop fossils there too. Yeah. Oh my God.